Hi there, welcome to another Friday Findings video. Today I thought I would show you some books and magazines that I have found inspiring and helpful in learning how to do polymer clay. You've seen me do lots of jewelry videos on this YouTube channel, but I'm also very much into sculpting and making beads in polymer clay, so I thought I would just introduce you to a few things in case you're interested in learning more for yourself. So this actually is the very first book that I got when I wanted to explore clay further than the little crafty projects I did with my kids. And this book actually brings you step by step through simple characters, how to do the features, how to do the clothing, and it brings you through from simple projects to more complex ones. And it's a lot of fun too. The characters are really cute and you learn a lot of techniques like how to make basic body parts, how to make hands and feet and such, how to make realistic looking clothing out of clay. This is a great book to start if you like the idea of sculpting in clay and you'll get lots of ideas. Also for caning, like on his vest is a sheet of cane or applied shapes, or how to make textures, different kinds of hair. It's a fun book to work through. The next is less just one book, more than an author. Christy Friesen is a well-known name in the world of polymer clay, and she has some terrific books out there. Um, one of my favorite ones is this steampunkery, which is just a bunch of really fun steampunk projects, but she's a fantastic teacher. And if you go through her projects step by step, she explains things in such a way that you really learn them well so that you can apply them to your own projects and make things your own. Isn't he fun? These are just great for learning and just to have something really fun to wear when you're done. So I would highly recommend anything by Christy Friesen. Actually, this dragon's book was how I got started making my dragons. And then I've made some of the cats. She has a lot of these little ones. You don't necessarily need them all, but they just are a great way to get started in polymer clay. And then there's Polymer Cafe magazine. There aren't a lot of magazines out there dedicated to polymer clay. Polymer Cafe is the most basic, and I've been reading this and making things from it for years. In fact, uh, oh, there I am. This project is mine, so I've, I've progressed to the point where now I have a project in Polymer Cafe. But they've got lots of great basic articles, inspiration, cute projects, so it's worthwhile to check out an issue or two, if not a subscription. And then there are books that get into more specific things, like Dawn Schiller's Fame Maker. Uh, she has these wonderful fantasy characters that she makes, but you'll not only learn those projects as you make this, but you'll learn like how the basics of how to build a character in an armature and how to wrap it, how to create hair and clothing, and how to make faces. She really walks you through step by step how to build faces with different characters and expression. So that's a lot of fun. So you'll learn more than just the projects in the book. This book, uh, Polymer Clay Gemstones, The Art of Deception by Kim Schlink, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Aunt Randy Ketzel, shows you all the great ways that you can use polymer clay to make faux materials. That's one thing polymer clay is excellent at, is making some things that look like other things, like faux amber, snowflake jasper, how to make lace agate, and they show you how to use these things in specific projects, but of course you can use them to do anything you want. I actually made a dragon covered with the faux snowflake jasper, and it came out really well. So this is a great book. If you want to learn techniques for making faux things and, and making jewelry that you can apply to many projects. And then here's another book that I would highly recommend. Uh, just taking and working through. It's polymer clay color inspirations and there is a wealth of information in here showing you how to use color. And there are projects in each chapter that you can do and as you work through them you'll learn a great deal of color theory and how it applies specifically to polymer clay. 
So those are just a few ideas that I thought you would find helpful in perhaps pursuing a new creative interest. So thanks so much for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. If you like this video up on the screen, I have a couple more you might enjoy, and also make sure you've subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching. Happy creating. Bye-bye.